everyone welcome once again to to talk margaret tv if today is your first time you have not subscribed please go and subscribe subscription is free thank you for subscribing thank you for sharing thank you for like all my subscribers I say thank you all my returning subscri subscribers I say god bless you all my new subscribers I say you are welcome thank you for subscribing god bless you happy new month to you guys happy new month happy new month i wish you the best this month this month is your month of favor and prosperity so let me go for today's video today i will be after <laughs> i will be putting a video there because you know i always any information i have i always share it with people it's good for us to have information what is going on in nigeria especially our country nigeria because a lot is going on a lot is happening in that country People are dying, people are hungry, people are sad, hatred, killing, kidnapping is going on. And what is the cause of this problem? A man of God, let the people know that this problem that is going on, this hate and, and um, fighting, corruption, people are dying everywhere. That is, the problem comes from the, from the Africa politicians, Africa government, uh, gov uh, government. Not only point finger on Nigeria, a point finger on all Africans that the politicians themselves they are they are sick. They are sick because if they are not sick, why somebody will steal a lot of money, a lot of money, and go to Dubai, go to other Europe country and uh, establish and uh, uh, keep the money there. And his own people are hungry. The road are not well built. Uh, the 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 youths they don't have good job. You see arm robber everywhere. The youth are killing. People are do, doing anything to make money. That that's not supposed to, to happen. If the governor or the the governor or the head of state or the in, in short the, the 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 Africa rulers, the people who are ruling Africa, not only in Nigeria, that they are sick in their head. Hmm. My people, what do you think about what this pastor is saying? Because me too, I will I will I will put it there. You will think you will listen to the pastor and put your comment there that. Put your comment what do you think what do you think about this message this pastor is trying to share out to the people because if they are not sick why one person will see a lot of money a lot of money that even a generation with generation and generation with it will not finish which kind of greediness why people are dying you see children are hungry uh, or no hospital accident everywhere people quickly killing each other that we don't eat ourselves. When they say Africa eat yourself, that we don't eat ourselves. That the cause of all this hatred, all this fight, come from the leaders, the leaders of uh, uh, the leaders of Africa. That Ghana don't hate Nigeria. Nigeria don't hate Ghana. That we should check where the, the 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 real problem is coming from. That most of these children you see, they don't even know what is love. They did not train them what is love. What is the meaning of love? They don't even know. Even their parents don't have time for them. Because everybody is looking for money to put food on the table. This pastor say a lot. And a lot, a lot this pastor was speaking about is the truth. Is the truth. But there's one little thing I want to say about it. This self hate that Africa would we don't we don't eat ourselves, that comes from the politicians. Or not only from the politicians, if we even think about the, the time of um I will call it this word is not good for you to be not that we say it. Like example, we that live here in Europe, we don't like ourselves. The Africans don't like themselves. The Ghana say the mentality from Nigeria is not the same. You see, the Cameroon say the mentality, mentality from Nigeria and Cameroon is not the same. You see hate, you see hate, you see a jealousness between the Africa. You know, everyone try to 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 bring to please the Uyibo. I will call it here, do you both and bring your fellow black down? So this mentality comes from Africa, you know, killing, hating, hating each other, betraying each other for everybody just to go up or to grow up. Yeah, if in one way this pastor was saying the truth, if only that our politicians or Africa politicians they are doing the right thing, spending the money in the country, building the road, building the schools. Give the youth a good job. Share the money between between everyone. Let everyone eat from the money. Africa has money. Yeah, every you go to Ghana, they have gold. You come to Nigeria, they have gold. They have oil. They have cocoa. They have everything. Why are we coming to Europe here to betray ourselves? Is the fault is the fault from the politicians? 
because everybody is running to look for what for food to eat to, to to provide for their family so this problem start from our leaders start from the africa so this pastor was saying the truth the problem is not the people the problem is the leaders in africa and that is why they have to change that is why they have all these saboteurs in africa have to be bring out and renew the africa not only nigeria renew africa so that everybody will enjoy so that our youth will stop go, go running out from africa to come to europe to come and frustrate, suffer, uh, be, uh, do what they're not supposed to do. You see a young man who's supposed to be a doctor, supposed to be an engineer, married to a young girl. You see him, you see him or she come to Europe to come and look for Odo Yubo to put to marry because of document. Oh my God. May God help Africa. So I will be dropping this video for the pastor for you to hear. I'll put your comment. What do you think about the pastor? What the pastor is saying? I'll, your mind about what is going on in Africa. So thank you for watching. You can watch. Thank you. God bless you. See you on my next video. Bye. I really yes. don't think we hate one another. Let's not uh, allow. Let's not allow our our leaders make us believe that we hate one another. We really don't hate one another. I I, I mean, we have a lot of sociopaths, people who have run mad for whatever reason, who are killing people all over the place. But near them will be some Yoruba person, some Igbo person who are relating perfectly like brothers and sisters. Let's not keep singing that song that we hate one another. We really don't hate one another. It is our leaders that have done this to us. A successive rogue leaders have done this to us. And rather than the people recognizing who their enemies are, they turn to one another. We really don't hate one another. We have children who have been deprived Children who grew up on the streets and have no morals. Children who have never seen the love of a father or the love of a mother. Children who have no sense of country because the country has not been of any use to them. Children who have no business about Nigeria. There's no difference for them whether they are Nigerian or Ghanaian or, 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 or Nigerian or Chadians. Because the government has done nothing for them. They have no sense of what is called patriotism. Now, when they begin to kill and destroy, then we now turn it around that we hate one another. We don't hate one another. How many of you here hate, hate the next person you are seeing? How many of you here? Because when you talk about we hate one another, if I turn and ask you, who do you hate here? You will say nobody. We don't hate one another. Because even as people are dying and so on and so forth, people are supporting and helping one another every day. So let's not, buy that, let's not buy that lie that our leaders are telling us. It is leadership that has failed. We don't have mutual hatred for one another. Leadership has failed. People are living jungle lives. In the jungle, what do you get? Cheating and killing and stealing and so on and so forth. A lot of things, I mean, just as they say, we are all very corrupt. We are all very corrupt. The system is such that you can hardly get anything through the right door. And so if you are driving a jalopy, a, a tokumbo or whatever, and then the police stops you with a gun, and you say the person is corrupt for giving 500 naira so that he can pass, is that really corruption or extortion? I mean, we really need to, because at the end of the day, we know we have a history of people being wasted for not agreeing to give. People being wasted. All that answers protest was about that. So under the such circumstances, do we call the poor guy who has his uh, kabu kabu on the road and trying to make ends meet when they cannot get government, uh, uh, government cannot provide opportunities for employment, that guy gives 500 naira to that policeman so that he can save his life and his family life. Then you say, oh, we are all very corrupt. It is our leaders that have put us in this. What's the difference between Nigerians and Ghanaians, if not leadership? What's the difference? We are one people, if not leadership. We have had leadership failure, and the consequences of leadership failure are enormous. And we all Nigerians must recognize it so that we take leadership seriously. The consequences of leadership failure are enormous. We read in Proverbs chapter 29, verse 2, when the wicked rule, the people groan. 
When the people, when the wicked rule, the people groan. But when the righteous are in authority, the people rejoice. So leadership is a grave responsibility and not a charlatan. We shouldn't allow charlatans to hold leadership. We shouldn't allow people who have no business in leadership. But here and there at various levels in this country, we have people who have no business being in leadership are in, the, in leadership. And they are destroying us. And they are knocking our heads together. And we are agreeing that we hate each other. I don't hate any Nigerian. If you do, tell me. No. I don't hate anybody. No. We don't hate one another. The people carrying out all these things, whether in the north or west or east or west or, or, or south, how well are they? Have they been brought up properly? How many of them have the kind of mother that you brought you up? How many of them have that kind of mother or the kind of father? The, the, the father I grew up with, <clears throat> up for 17 years, who sits down with me and chats with me, a lot of the proverbs I say in this church, I heard from my father. And that tells you the amount of time I spent with my father. How many of those people had, had, had a, a, a one hour in a year with their, with their father, sitting down and chatting and discussing life. So what we have are sociopaths, crazy people, mad people that are destroying and killing and kidnapping. They are not people who, whose senses are correct. So do we use hate? If you see a madman behaving on the street and stoning people, do you say he hates people? What do you say? He's, He's a right. sick man. So we have, we have millions of sick people that need treatment, including, including hundreds or thousands of so-called leaders who are sick and they need treatment. I hope you know that it has been said, and we said it in our reflection, uh, Professor uh, Zamani and I and, and, and others have said, if a lot of the people who are running our affairs from local government level to national level, if they go through psychological tests, many of them will fail. Many are not well. Even the primitive accusation, the monumental uh, corruption in this country, do you think people who are well can be gathering what their grandchildren cannot, cannot consume? People who are well will take the little resources of Nigeria to go and build houses in Dubai? Do, 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 you, do, you, do you think that, that people who are well will carry the little resources of poor Nigeria, go to America, go to the UK, go to Dubai to buy properties, and come back here to harvest the money. Do you think that people who are well will do that? So please change your vocabulary. Find something else to say. It is we do not hate one another.